what does it take to be a good scientist? You need to be able to multitask. Girls are good at that. You need to be able to work well with people. Girls are good at that. You need to be able to speak well and write well. Girls are good at that. You need to want to do something useful and important. Girls are good at that. What makes a good scientist is the ability to work on a team. Research is done by teams and laboratories, lots of people working together. Can you make some friends and work with your friends and combine your skills and her skills and her skills and his skills to come up with something better? So if she understands genetics and I understand structure and he understands ecology, together we can get a better idea of how the virus operates in the world. So it, there's a lot of working in teams in science. There's a lot of writing and speaking and communicating with people. In order to get funding and support for your research, you have to be able to communicate what you're trying to do and why. And people that can write well and speak well and communicate well, which is often women, can do very well. Um, if you're really good at making interpersonal connections, then you have a, a, a really good shot at finding a collaborator to work with you to advance each other's research. You have a really good shot of convincing somebody with grant money to offer why your program is deserving. And so I think a lot of the skills that are stereotypically feminine are terrific for research. I think that they're really good. I think women are also very good at um, establishing good connections with the people they work with. So I'm in charge of a laboratory of 12 people. Um, all of these people are working hard on a difficult project. Um, they may have their own problems going on in their lives. If, you're, uh, if you have some empathy and you can make a good personal connection, you can really win people over and, and get them on your team and work well together with them.